It was pretty ingenious of the Ratlings to modify that cannon so it could be used portably. It would have made for an ineffective weapon on the battlefield, however. Slow to load. Inaccurate. And loud. And terrifying! I've seen the March of Progress with firearms. I think they're the future. They won't be the future. Bows and crossbows are far quieter, much easier to make. But guns are becoming increasingly more potent. Just you wait, Ivrec. Eventually everyone will be using them in combat. I'll believe it when I see it. For now, this cannon is proving to be a much more cumbersome problem. We have to get this back to the hub. Indeed we do. All right, everyone. Lift on three. Wait, wait, wait! I'm a little peckish. I better eat something before we move things. Is now really the time? You never, ever delay eating tasty treats. <coughs> well, if you're going to eat, I suppose I will as well. There. There is actually something I wish to do. Before we lift it, I will change this out. I do not think its effects are working. Alright, now that we've finished all of that, can we finally get on with lifting this? Yes, we can. Let's go. Back to the hub. Hey, folks! It's Kikoski here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Grimrock 2. And when last we left off, there is no way for us to open this here. But I do think that we can open the way out another direction using that key we got. Right here! So, we use a brass key, that opens the way back. Finally! Freedom! Ugh. Lift a little harder, eyes! Will do. Not lifting for my sake, I see. You can handle your part. Let's focus on making sure we don't drop this. One step at a time, everyone. Okay, we need to go this way, and head back here. Fortunately, it won't take us too long to get to the hub, and we are absolutely not going underwater with this. We're slow enough as it is. Alright, so over here, and through here, and before we know it, we are back here, and back here. Ah, <sighs> fresh air. Must move quickly lest the creatures of the night get us. Agreed. Don't want to be caught off guard with this cannon in our hands. Ugh. So heavy. Okay, over here, down, and then we're almost at the harbor. And I'm still glad that I don't have to deal with that every time I decide to travel through here. Is that an enemy? Looks like it. What kind of enemy is that? And there are lots of things here. We must be cautious. Alright, drop anything that's overloading you. We're about to fight. Right, I'm gonna drop this and be ready. I don't know what you are, so we're just going to fire. And that did zero. Okay. That also did zero. I don't know what you are! And I'm trapped. Okay, uh... Oh, this thing is tricky. Might be an elemental. Let me see what I can do. It is an elemental. Get it, Ivrec. I'm trying. Oh, I'm gonna need to hit it a few more times. Oh, it's so weird. It's... It's so blustery. My energy is running low. Can't you do anything, Eyes? It is only you who is capable of felling that. And you did well. Oh, that, that was close. Very close indeed. You should probably drink that, Onara. You're going to need that fortitude. Thank you. Plus one vitality for Onara as we... Move. Oh, never mind. We can't move forward right now. You're making your way towards us. Okay, let's have at thee with you. And get you with some fire. 
This seems more capable than the last one. It does, doesn't it? I wonder if the enemies have gotten tougher here. 250 XP there. I think we should quickly move before we get attacked by something else. The hub isn't far. We can make it. I'm glad I don't want to get attacked by another one of those things. Not with you so beaten up, Anara. And we are safe. And now we have light. Let's sort out our stuff. Okay, let's drop some things, starting with the cannon. I'm gonna keep that on hand. Uh, keep the spear, you never know. What I actually want to do is get rid of this box and instead fill up the bag because the box weighs more and right now we're not utilizing all of our inventory space. So it makes sense to clear this out. It's gonna take us a little while to do this, but it will ultimately be worth it. Okay, we'll do that. I want a bag of explodey things. Don't need these pellets at all. So now we can put all these bits of turtle steak down into here. Drop this. I'm actually gonna drop this here because someone did mention that there are alcoves that you can put stuff in. This will be a another bag of food. There we go. Swap these around. This is food, so we're going to put that there. Not looking forward to eating that tongue. Oh, I can prepare that quite easily. A few spices, a bit of searing, and it'll be delicious. I'll take your word for it. All right. Uh, probably want to put that down. All right, what else do we have here? Six throwing knives. Don't need throwing knives. Uh, you're carrying a lot of rocks, but we may need them. Actually, we probably... There's a part of me that knows we won't need them, but there's also a part of me that knows that I should keep them because rocks. Uh, dagger? We'll hold on to the dagger for now. Anti-venom. We should really pass you a... We should empty this out. That's what we should do. We should also get rid of the skull, and the cannonball, and that, and these throwing axes. We don't need them. We also don't need these throwing knives. So if we give you this, you can then hold on to random potions in this. Yeah, that's a good idea. If you hold on to the random potions, then we'll have one character who can just be the one that we can solve for potions. Like this antidote. And all of these here. Also, you have 11 firebombs. Yeah, we should absolutely have you hold on to all of them. Organize everything, Kiko. We also have two potions of resurrection. Very handy. Do we need this? We do need that. We need that for our reagents. We need to organize the cheese. Organizing the cheese is very important. Incredibly important. How heavy is that? We should probably have a nice scattering of food everywhere. Also, remember that you're holding on to... We should also have this in here so we don't accidentally use it. That seems like a good idea. Uh, we're getting there. I will place this here for now, and that there. Does anyone require this? Not really. If wreck, I won't gain much use out of it more bombs. I can't carry all of these. C can you carry the bombs? I can. I will hold them. Thank you. So that is a completely empty bag. You might as well hold on to that and I don't know, carry more food? Always a good idea for you to carry more food. We're going to keep this Actually, I say that. We could fight the enemies up there, and we could gain a level, couldn't we? And then you wouldn't need to carry them all, because this thing... Then again, this does ignore five points of enemy armor. I think we'll be alright. Let's put that there for now. Two cannonballs. Don't need them. There we go. Your inventory 
much emptier. Your inventory pretty full. That's a lot of weight for rocks, but you never know when we might need those rocks. You never, never know. Okay, with that done, our inventory is pretty sorted. Also, our health has returned. Uh, you probably... Ooh, another one of those. Probably don't need this lightning rod. Which means that this is completely empty. We should, pl we should put plot critical items in there. So eyes is basically carrying nothing. Probably have eyes carry one of the uh, super important things. Maybe eyes could carry the bombs. You know what? Eyes will carry the bombs. There we go. You're carrying lots of food. You're carrying that. And someone mentioned that we can still use this. You just need the light weapons three for the thrust attack. So really, we should keep this just in case we need to attack underwater, because then we'll have two people that can do it. All right, is everyone ready? I require sustenance first. <laughs> Better. I'm as good as can be. Unburdened and prepared to, well, I was going to say face those things up there, but I don't really want to face them, but we're going to, aren't we? That's just what we have to do. I'm ready to deal with more elementals as is needed. Alright, let's clear out this place. Wonder where these came from. Doesn't matter, really. All that matters is that they perish. Alright, they're over on that side, so we're going to track our way over to here. And have at thee, and hopefully we'll gain enough experience to level up Anara. We're not that far away from leveling up everyone else, too. Where did it go? I saw it somewhere. It was flapping about here. Is that it? No, that's just a tree. Uh, thing. Oh, there it is. There's another one of those. Oh, I thought I could hit it through the trees. It's all right. We could deal with this. Then we'll take care of the elemental. Be gone. Yes, go away. All right. Your time to shine now. You've got to keep us away from us. We'll do our best. Okay, this thing is pretty fast. I think this is a air elemental. And I'm really glad that I picked up that scroll in the Shrine of Meditation. Because this thing is... Oh! Okay, we are a little trapped, but we should be all right. Oh! It actually pushes us back. All right. I don't know if I have another shot in me. I don't. I'm going to have to... Buy me some time. Do you have a potion, Chi? Um, you're, you're the one carrying the potions. I am, that is right. I don't think we have one. I have one. Take this. Thank you. All right, you. Be gone! It's not going away yet. Oh, it is. It's scared. But it is no more. Good shot. Thanks. And with that, we gain a level up for Anara, which means heavy weapons five. At fifth skill level, you can wield two-handed weapons in one hand. Now, let me see if I've got this. There we go. Woo! That's impressive! You're not meant to be able to do that. Well, there are many things they don't teach you in training. And this is one of them. As long as you can use it effectively. I believe I can. Then that's good. Let's make our way back to the sewers. Maybe you should keep that Warhammer just in case we find a particularly armored foe. 
First, we should take care of that thing. Agreed. Don't want that thing chasing us all the way over to that sewer. Alright, let's see how good this is. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is very good, in fact. Oh! Oh, it got me! Oh, my hand! Let's take care of this and then treat your injury. Oh! We've got this. I've got this too. Alright, you can't do anything, Chief. But, we won. Okay, the injury is... Hand injury, yep. So, we could use... A... Healing crystal. There is one down there, but there's also one in the... Dungeon itself. Oh, my hand's not looking too good. Don't worry. We'll get to one of those crystals and then you be good as new. We hope it will be as good as new. Experimentation cannot hurt. Worst case scenario, we just use a potion later. Oh, it hurts, though. I... Uh, it hurts a lot. Don't worry. We're nearly there. It does look quite bad. It feels bad! Here we are. Oh, it does feel better, though. You were right. The crystals can heal injuries. Now that we've discovered that, let's move forward. We have another key, and we know where to use it. That we do, we found a place earlier. Maybe it will bring us to where those spikes are. I'm not looking forward to that, but if that's the only way we can go, then it's the only way we can go. Alright, so, this way. We also haven't been that way, but I doubt there's anything super important there. We will check at some point. Ah, uh, yes, we are going to have to face them, aren't we? Reservoir access. Alright, here we are. One key. And here we go. Nothing so far. I spoke too soon. Hmm, a fish. And an anti-venom. That will be useful. Keep your magic about you, eyes. There could be anything here. Oh, I am. Including a way to open up to the main corridor. That's handy. Oh, no. That looks like a puzzle. I think it is. There's nothing up here at all. We could just avoid it. We could. But there's absolutely something. There are buttons. There are buttons. Alright, let's see if we can get a lay of where these buttons are. There's one there. There's one there. I can't see others from this angle. There might be one there. We can see it if we go on the other side, right? We can have a look. There might be a button. There's one of those gems! We need that! What do we have here? Follow the leader! Follow the leader? Hmm. Probably a clue for this puzzle! We have to be careful though. Those things are moving quite quickly. One wrong step, and we have a spike through our feet. This is going to be something I'm going to have to be very, very careful about. But follow the leader is a good clue. It's a very good clue. We just need to figure out... So I suppose if we go here, and then we just follow where... Ooh, do we follow where the spikes are going? Is that what we do? We follow where the spikes are going, so if we stay behind the spikes... That could be our answer. Because if the spikes go this way... 
Yeah, I think we follow the spikes. Next time, folks, we'll test that theory out. We may have spent a lot of time dealing with stuff in the hub, but it's worth doing that. And Anara has got to level 9. The rest of the party isn't that far behind. And when Chi gets to level 9, we're going to be maxing out alchemy. And Eyes is going to be getting more concentration. Ifrek! I think Ifrek needs some more light weapons, honestly. Ifrek needs more light weapons so that they can deal more damage in melee when their magic runs out. Alternatively, we could get a couple more points of concentration. But I think light weapons is what we need. Light weapons, and then maybe a bit of accuracy? I'm not sure. But one thing's for sure, if we get another tome that gives us a skill point, you're getting it, Ivrak. Eyes needed it to get to where they are now, but Ivrak needs some too. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're not. And if you are subscribed, press that bell for those notifications as we jump down into an area full of spikes. Not a fan of that idea, but it's something we must do. I don't like those buzzy things there, but we've dealt with them before. I just hope they don't have some sort of magic like that bird did. This island is getting more dangerous the longer we stay. We will prevail. I wish I had your confidence, eyes. I have certainty, not confidence. Of course you do. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later.